homeowner in Lafayette is protesting what he views as an evil empire. He's in a fight with Comcast over the cable giant's plan to dig up part of his yard for a utility line. As Denver 7's Russell Haythorn reports, this fiber line fiasco may end up in court. Yeah, homeowner Andrew O'Connor has done the impossible. He's taken on the Goliath cable company Comcast over an easement issue. He doesn't believe they have an easement on his property, and so far, he's winning. The dispute is over the installation of a new fiber optics network in the neighborhood. Comcast insists it needs to go through O'Connor's backyard. And I feel like as a, as a private property owner, I can tell them no. O'Connor says things got off on the wrong foot, and since then, he's had one worker after another banging on his door. He eventually posted this sign, access denied to our property. That was a result of a shouting match with one of the supervisors for the crew installing the lines. They're just trying Trying to run over people. You know, that's how these, these bullies operate. The question is, does Comcast have a valid public utilities easement? In a statement to Denver 7, Comcast said, we have an existing franchise agreement with the city that gives us clear authority to access easements to maintain or upgrade our infrastructure. But O'Connor says Comcast hasn't proven anything. I looked at the plat map and they have no record of an easement anywhere. Another neighbor told us off camera, Cruz left paint all over her yard and a puddle of mud that used to be lawn. Well, they have a pattern of doing this and they have a pattern of destroying people's property. O'Connor's fight may be in vain, but so far he's managed to fend off the cable giant. They're just a greedy corporation and they, they, they give lousy service and they overcharge people, and people, frankly, are just sick of Comcast, frankly. I think people need to stand up to them. Russell Haythorn, Denver 7. If you have a problem, Contact 7 should investigate. Please don't hesitate to call that number on your screen or send us an email. Contact 7 at the Denver Channel .com.